Hey brothers, what is going on? Good afternoon. JK, your brother in this struggle, founder and head coach of PornReboots.com coming at you. Excuse my Ray Charles sunglasses. I couldn't find my regular glasses for some reason, but I'm on the way back from the gym. Those of you who know and who've been following me for a while know that I go to the gym in the afternoon to deal with my anxiety and to deal with that mid-afternoon crash, which some of us experience, I do, I've always struggled with this. And so I do this to counter that so I can be productive. Anyway, today I'm going to speak about incongruency in your reboot. And I'm speaking about it because it's something that I'm going through right now in my life, not with my reboot, but in just a couple of aspects of my life. And what it simply means is that your self-image rather the way you perceive yourself just doesn't match up with what is happening in your life. And I'll tell you where this comes from. So I had a career in sales. I recruited and trained salespeople for over a decade. I ran a sales internship program. And one of the things I would notice with salespeople would be, I worked with a lot of guys who came from nothing like myself and they would be trained to make these huge commissions. And when they did, you would notice that a guy would have a really great month. He would crush it that month. He would make more money than he'd ever made in the past or in his life. And he would promptly get into the next month and perform in an absolutely terrible manner. And he would do so bad, you would wonder like what the heck happened? How could you be consistent for four weeks and then you get into the next month and it's just terrible. And over time I figured out that even though he had put in the effort the prior month to do his very best, his self-image was not the image of a person who made, let's say, you know, $15,000 or $10,000 in commission a month. His self-image just didn't, you know, stack up to that. He was very uncomfortable with that. And so unconsciously, he would revert back to what he was used to. It's kind of like your self-image, or rather your unconscious mind has this internal barometer which measures where you should be. So if you're supposed to be at 40 degrees and you perform at 70 degrees, that internal barometer goes like, who, who do you think you are? You don't deserve these things. You're not that type of person. And a lot of these negative beliefs, self-limiting beliefs come up. Beliefs like, you know, people who make that sort of money make it in a dishonest way. Wealthy people are always taking advantage of others. Think of all the people who are suffering. You don't deserve to make this type of money. This is just luck. It's not going to last. So I'm using the analogy from my past, but how does this apply to your reboot? Well, for a lot of men who are following the right system, when you get to a point where you are no longer counting days, which is a very important part of the porn reboot system, when you get to a point where pornography is no longer relevant in your life, when you get to a point where you are no longer medicating, you know, unresolved issues and strong emotions and loneliness and boredom and stress, with pornography and masturbation and you've been doing it for a certain amount of time you don't even you're not counting something within you says hey Jim hey Bob you don't deserve to live without a relapse like who do you think you are to go without a need to satisfy a sexual urge for so long I don't know how long it's been but I know it's longer than it's ever been and I I don't think you you can do this. You're not that type of person. There's something wrong with this. And then all the beliefs start coming up. If I don't masturbate, that's not healthy. That's not a healthy thing. I think it's bad for my prostate, right? Maybe there's something else wrong. Maybe I have porn induced erectile dysfunction, right? Why am I not checking out girls? Is something wrong with me? Did, did porn ruin me for good? I heard some stop fapping guy say that that's something wrong with that. And then these crazy thoughts start getting into your head. Like, well, let's test and find out if this is for real. All right, let's, let's watch a little bit of pornography and see if this is, if I'm, I'm really cured, right? 
And what ends up happening, long story short, is that you end up sabotaging your reboot. You end up relapsing, you end up slipping, or you end up just slowly deteriorating all of those wonderful habits that you built up over a period of weeks or over a period of months. And that is the problem with incongruency. It's that your self-image just simply doesn't match up to your current life. In many cases, for men who are following the porn reboot system, you know, your reboot is accompanied by many amazing changes in your life, which cannot be offered by other modalities. Other modalities will focus mostly on abstinence and controlling your behavior, but the porn reboot system is holistic. And so your body improves, your self-confidence improves, your spirituality improves, your financial situation improves. I'm very big on that for men because I believe it's an integral part of men's happiness at a certain point in life. Your relationships improve and it just feels too good to be true, right? But I want you to realize one thing if you're experiencing this, it's that when things feel too good to be true, right? You're like, man, it, it's too perfect. Everything is, it's too perfect. Something bad is going to happen. What you're doing when you slip and relapse and fall back to your self-image is you're not giving that level time to plateau, right? You've got to a new level and that new level has to plateau. And then you're going to start facing challenges which are inherent to that particular level. And when you don't, you don't give it that time to struggle. So for instance, a guy who's been off pornography and even masturbation for one year, he has a new set of challenges that he's going to face in his life, right? You don't know what they are if you've never gotten to one year following a system. And some guys never even get to that one year period because they're seven months in and they're like, this is too good to be true. This is too good to be true. And they sabotage themselves. But when you realize that at each level, your first year, your second year, and to a smaller degree, the next couple of years as you start working on unresolved issues, as you start working on forgiving yourself, as you start working on past trauma, if any, when you realize that, man, even on those levels, I have things to deal with. You can't afford to play the game of feeling incongruent and kind of sabotaging things at the early level. Many of you live in that cycle. You live in that cycle of just, oh man, it's too good to be true, I'm gonna fuck it up. But you don't even know why you're screwing it up, right? And if this turned out to be like a little bit of a light bulb moment for you, and you're like, man, I never thought of it that way, that makes sense. That's what the porn reboot system is about. It's literally about taking all the experiences, the assumptions, and the conclusions which you've made, which now form the basis of your belief, we take all those things and we challenge them so that your, your mind is blown open and you're like, holy shit, this is why I am dealing with all these issues. I know a lot of guys are super focused on the coping strategies. You know, you watch my YouTube videos, you listen to the podcast and you're like, tools, tools, tools. I want all those cool tools. I want the coping strategies. Those are the things I need. But then the coping strategies are not going to work for you if you don't work on your unconscious beliefs, which have built up your self-image. So you've got to work on your self-image first, brothers. And that is my message for you guys today, right? And there's fear at that point. As I mentioned earlier, this is something that I'm dealing with in my life. And I remember, you know, even this is gonna sound so crazy to you guys, but I used to be, super broke years and years ago like really struggling and i always lived in studio apartments you know everything in one place a little kitchenette you know my mattress on the floor little desk and chair that i had purchased on craigslist that that was the life i lived and i remember the first time that i got a one bedroom apartment and it's gonna blow some of you guys mind it might anyway the first time I ever afforded a one bedroom apartment, it wasn't even that, you know, it wasn't that big a deal, but my self image couldn't handle it. I ended up losing the apartment just because I just, I wasn't comfortable there. I literally thought that a one bedroom apartment 
was a step up for me, right? I've come a very, very long way since then. But when I think back, it truly boggles the mind at the things that I sabotaged in my life because I didn't believe I deserved them. Even my relationship, I almost sabotaged it because I was like, I can't believe that I am with such a nice, caring, flexible, emotionally and physically bent flexible, but mostly emotionally flexible woman who's beautiful, who's won pageants. I was like, what the fuck? And I could see myself sabotaging that relationship because of the beliefs that I have that which were incongruence. Um, it was like, like guys like you who are not classically good looking, who are just, you're just an average guy. Guys like you don't get with women like this. You don't. And then all these defense mechanisms came up. Things like, you better put a ring on it. You better marry her because you'll never find another woman like this, right? That was my way of dealing with it, right? That, that, that's what my, my mindset was telling me. Like, it, it doesn't get better than this, man. You, you better lock this down. And that was simply because my self-image couldn't think beyond that. And so it started playing defensive, right? It was like, lock it down, hold on to it, become attached to this individual so you don't lose it. I knew that would stop me from growing. I'm not speaking for anybody else. The same thing some guys do with their finances, you know? Like you got a good job and maybe the truth is you don't like working for other people. Your personality type is it's not that sort of personality type. And you've always wanted to do your own thing. There's something you're passionate about. And you're like, you know what? Let me work this job or let me get a job and save up enough money to start my own side hustle or my own gig or chase this thing I'm passionate about. And suddenly you find that this job you got into actually provides you with more income than you've ever had. And you know, there's a transfer promotion, it's got great benefits, it's secure. It's not what you want to do. In fact, you don't even like it. But your mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters, your girlfriend, your wife says, this is, this is good, this is stable. And your manager says you're doing so good. And suddenly your self image goes like, dude, this is the best. This is good, bro. And I, you don't even deserve this. But you're, you're about to get a promotion don't screw this up don't screw it up man it's too good for you so lock it down give up on that crazy dream and you give up on it and you hold on to this right in some other cases other people actually chase those dreams they quit the job they chase the passion and they do they're doing so well at it and suddenly they realize I can't handle this I've had a lot of private clients who were rags to riches individuals they had nothing and they worked really hard and they achieved some measure of success or some measure of fame but deep down their self-image found their success their fame whatever they had accomplished to be incongruent with who they were and they ended up sabotaging it they ended up falling into different addictions they ended up becoming sex addicts. They ended up becoming extreme porn addicts. And these were their ways of medicating this incongruency, right? So there are many ways that this can manifest, that this can show up in an individual's life. But I want you brothers, to, but the purpose of this video brothers is to make you aware of it. So if you feel that you've experienced that in your life, or you would like to learn more about it, you're curious, go ahead and leave your question in the comment section below and I'll respond. Whenever you're ready, there are a few ways that I can help you end your out of control behavior with porn, sex, or masturbation. The first way is to download a copy of my free ebook, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men. And it's the roadmap to ending your out of control behavior. If you're curious as to what this whole system thing is about, there's a link to download it in the description below the video. The second way is to join our free Facebook group. Not everybody can join it. If you're not on Facebook, it's cool, no stress. But if you are, go ahead and it's Porn Reboot. That's all you got to search for, it's the Porn Reboot group. There's also a link to it in the description of the video. And it's a great place to find an accountability partner or at the very least, 
be surrounded by mature men who are serious about ending this behavior. High performers, high achievers, business owners, executive, guys who are not fucking around. They're not here to be in recovery forever. Great place. Now, if you feel that you are at a point in your life where you would like to end this behavior quicker, faster, you're making progress, but you're like, you know what? I need to work with somebody because I am just, I keep losing my way. I need a map. I need a map that's going to show me how to get from where I am to where I want to be because I keep getting lost in the forest. Or if you want something that's predictable, I want to know what's going to happen to me in a month. I want to know when I'm going to experience my next withdrawal symptom. I want to know when my PIED is going to end. And I want to have the expertise, because you are the best expert at yourself. I want to have the expertise to predict that. Then you may be a good fit for our group coaching program. We've got two. One is called the implementation program, which is best for men who are under the age of 25 and who are not really in business, who are not really high performers yet. And the second is the Porn Reboot Intensive. And this is where men who are business owners, men who are executives, men who put in long hours, you don't have to be a business owner or an executive. You just have to be a guy who has a lot going on for him. And you don't have a whole bunch of time to sit around in a group, to visit with a therapist, Maybe you've got a couple of kids, you got a demanding job, you've got a family, you just don't have much time. You might be a good fit for the intensive. So go ahead and use the link in the description below this video to schedule a call with one of my team members to find out if you're a good fit. I'm JK, your brother in the struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll speak to you later on in the week.